on YouTube as, as well as on Facebook. We are doing everything we can to reach and uh, streaming live now to hundreds and hundreds. Like last Sunday before this day was over, 1,000 views of our service. And some people, <laughs> this is probably not good. Shit. Because some people just text me and said, I am not here today, but I'm going to be looking at the service <laughs> uh, or, or streaming. So um, if you don't see them here, they're not missing the service, but we would love to see them here. Put your hands together for our friend, our brother, Pastor. Pastor Reverend Bishop, Loyal Sims. Yeah. Go for it. Somebody say amen this morning. Amen. Praise God. Listen, I want to say this first of all. Sister Beverly, for five weeks, she kept complaining about acid reflux. For five weeks or more, she kept saying that she had this heartburn that wouldn't go away. And the heartburn was a heart attack, or a blockage or whatever. So don't take your heartburn too lightly anymore, or a jaw ache, or your right hand, left arm, or uncontrollable sweating, because your body is trying to tell you something. Amen. I want to thank God for being here this morning. I want to thank him for my wife of 27 years, going on 28 years in a couple of weeks. Amen. 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 Uh, she's, she really has been a tremendous blessing. A great, I'm not going to preach on her, but I love her very much. She's an awesome woman, and she's been an excellent wife. Amen. Amen. An excellent wife. And, and I thank the Lord for you, honey. Love you too. And I want to thank God for Pastor Amon, his wife. Yes. And his family. And the um, ministry staff and all the brothers and sisters of this ministry. <laughs> Pastor Amon, Amar told me to not say anything about him this morning. But how can I? He's such a wonderful pastor. He's such a wonderful, not only is he a wonderful pastor, but he is a wonderful person. And for those of you that are not members of our church and you here for the first time and, and you don't know that, if you're looking for a church home and you're looking for a pastor that's after God's own heart, then I want to say to you, Pastor Amar is a good candidate for that. Amen. 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 Now we're going to get to the word. Uh, Father, in your precious name, we give you all the glory and all the honor and praise belongs to you. You are Lord and God, and besides you there is no other God. Uh, and before you there was none formed. Isaiah said, there was no God before you. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Elohim. You are God. You told Moses to tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. You are Lord God. And we love you so this morning. And we give you glory and honor and praise. We ask you, Father, that you will move this morning, and that you will bless your people, that you give us revelation, knowledge, insight, concept, ideals. Speak to our hearts. Speak to our minds. Show us things, Father, in the Word that we have never seen before. Open up our understanding, and we'll give you all the glory and all the praise. And all the honor is yours in Christ's name. Every heart say amen. amen. Now, I had 10 messages, and I changed them 10 times. But I realized that I can only share with you one. And so, the message that the Lord has chosen for you this morning, for us, is one that is fitted for this service. 
Because out of ten, he gave one. And the one that he has given, because this is my first Sunday preaching, I wanted to be on the safe side. I want to preach something to everybody that knows so I wouldn't make no mistakes. No, but we've been doing this for about 41 years. But the one that the Lord gave us, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, to, to pretend, the script is, is Jeremiah uh, 29 11, but I want you to pretend that you have never heard a message of Jeremiah 29 11. Amen. And most people, most godly people, most church people have heard this message, I guess, at least a hundred times. There's nothing that we can say, I can say, or anyone else can say, that if you're a loving God and you've been a Christian for a while, there's nothing no man can preach that you have not already heard. But it's revelation. God's word is revelation. It's, it's a word and a word. It's a revelation and a revelation. It's a wheel and a wheel. Yes. The more you read it, the, the more yes. wheels. Yes. Have, have you ever read the Bible and you come back and read the same thing and got something totally different? Yes. 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 Because the word is, is, is keep changing. Yes. It's quick and powerful and yeah. it's sharper than it to its sword. Yes. His word keeps giving us what we need because God knows what we need. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. So we're going to pretend that you have never heard this message before. Amen. Amen. And, and the subject is understanding God's will, God's plan, and God's purpose. And you'll be surprised at the people that don't know God's will. You'll be surprised of people that have been in church and in the Lord for a long time yet don't know God's will. Don't know God's plan and don't know his purpose. So understanding God's will, say it with me. Understanding God's will. Come on, y'all. God's will. Understanding God's will. God's plan. God's plan. You'll be surprised at the people that don't understand. We assume that because we know somebody or we are coming to church every Sunday morning or Sunday wherever, we assume that people know the Lord. We assume that they got it going, you know, with the Lord. But you'll be surprised of people that come to church that don't know their Bible. That's right. That don't know God. That don't, doesn't spend time in His presence. That's true. And, and most people, the only word they get is when they come to church. That's right. Amen. Because they don't take time to spend time with God. Right. To hear what the Lord is saying. Mm -hmm. To give themselves over to the Word. All right. And so they come and they just hear what the preacher says. And, and during the week, we gloss over the, the word. And we gloss over prayer until the next Sunday or the next Wednesday night, until the next altar call. So some people, not everybody, but some people don't know God's will. Amen. Some people don't understand what it takes to be a Christian. To what it really takes to be a child of God. Do you know what it really takes to be born again? To be sold out to God. To be dead to the world. To be dead to the world. Paul says, I was crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but in the Christ that lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. And some people don't know that. Some people don't appreciate that. That's right. So we take we take God for granted at time. We take Christianity for granted at time. We take coming to church for, for granted at times and not knowing that for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten right. son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish for hell everlasting life. So understanding God's will, God's plan, and God's purpose. Jeremiah 29 11. Now we you're gonna you're gonna work with me this morning because you're gonna pretend that you never heard it before. All right. 
Amen. Jeremiah 29 11. I want us to read it together. And it's very important that you read it with me. It's going to help me. You ready? For I know, let's read it. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you all. Expect it in. One verse says, uh, translation says, to give you a hope in the future. Amen. So this says, God said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And some people never realize that God is thinking right. about you. Right. Yes. That he has you on his mind. Amen. That, that Isaiah says, he has tattooed you right. in the palm of his hands. Yes. That he'll never forget you. No, a mother forget a second child. That's right. Yes. God will never forget you. Amen. Amen. He said, I know the thoughts and the plans that I have toward you, said God. Yes. Amen. Thoughts of peace yes. and not evil. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. To give you a hope in the future. To the third verse, one chapter in the book of Jude, to the third verse said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper. And being held even as your soul prosper. So I want to paint a picture this morning. I want to show you how much God loves you, even before the foundation of the world, that you would, and I was chosen in Him. Yeah. That God really does have a plan for your life. Yeah. He really does think of you. He really does have you on your mind. And sometimes it was sick and and and, and arthritis and 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 backache. And, and loneliness and misery and, and people, you know, we live in a dysfunction of the society. We live now in a society where people don't know their identity. That's we right. got children. We got don't know who their fathers are. Right. They, they don't have an identity. They lost their identity. Amen. So they don't know. They don't know God. You remember the children of Israel that came over? There was a generation that died in the wilderness and that other generation did not know God. They not, didn't know his word. They didn't know, they didn't know the miracles. That's right. And so when they got to the promised land, they got caught up with those other nations and all the people, the heathen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. We live in a society where people don't know God. Amen. We saw yesterday on the... Um, Commercial, and I'm not gonna get on whatever. But we saw where they're not trying to hide homosexuality. Yes. It's on television. Yes. It's everywhere. Yes. And because of that, and they made a law, and the law they made was the law against God, it's against His word. How many believers we have this morning? How many Christians we have this morning? How many we have this morning that know what Romans the first chapter says? Amen. That know what Romans the second, second chapter says? Amen. Yes. Come on, preach now. But that sin is an abomination unto the Lord. You can never make it right. You know, they got a Bible called the New Queen's Testament. That's right. That's right. That's right. Our Bible is the King James Testament. Well, they have a Bible they call the New Queen's Testament. Yes, <laughs> well, they're taking God's word and twisted it. And the thing that they couldn't uh, explain, and they wouldn't submit to, they just took it out of the Bible. Come on. They took God's word and they dissected it and twisted it and turned it to fit their own way of living. And they called it the the new queen's testament. God says, I know you. Amen. He said, I know you. You see, when God, I won't get on it now, but when God made man, Preach it. He made woman. Amen. He didn't make Adam and Eve. I mean, he made Adam and Eve. He didn't make Adam and Steve. That's right. <laughs> and a man's Risk should never be like that. Come on, preach. 
Don't get it twisted. Because our children have already got it twisted. They already think that, that that lifestyle is okay. No, it's not. They already think that there's no nothing wrong with a girl going with another girl, a boy going with another boy, man with man. Read it. It's an abomination to the Lord. That's right. Yes, it is. That's right. That's right. It's sin. That's yes. Right. Amen. Facebook pastor will shit about me. Facebook. You start talking about sin, it won't nobody like it. It won't nobody like it. Tell the truth. You mention the word sin on Facebook, and they will they will block you. I've never seen so many Christians hate to call sin what it is. I know, right? Yeah. It stinks in God's nostrils. That's right. But for a sinner. Sin is not sin to a sinner. Say it with me. Sin is not sin to a sinner. Sin to a sinner. This is way of life. That's right. This is lifestyle. He don't call it. She don't call it sin. They say, my man. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. I don't get okay. But anyway, God says, I know the plans that I have for God knows the plan he has. We did not come from our mother and father. We came through them. We didn't come from them. We came through them. God is our father. He is our father. He is our Jehovah. He's the other side of the most he can number. He's the other him. He is Lord God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. When I hear people say Jesus, I'll be waiting to hear the other part of that. Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That's very important for you as a Christian to say, Lord Jesus. Amen. Ask me why. Ask me why. Why? When you make him Lord, Amen. He becomes your leader, your ruler, That's your right. governor, and your guide. When you make him Lord over you, the scripture says Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. God has placed everything under his feet and given him a name which is above every name. Yes. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Yes. So when you say, Lord Jesus, yes. you submit your all to him. Right. You give him everything. That's he's my ruler. That's right. Yes. He's my, he's my deliverer. He's my governor. He covers everything I say. He covers everything I do. He covers everything. My thought is ordered by God. My way, my step is ordered by God. He is my governor. What do a governor do? We have a governor of the, of the state of Florida. What does the governor do? He controls every municipality in every city, every county, every state. When you make Jesus Lord, he covers your whole life. When you make him Lord, you no longer a church goer, but you're a saint. All right. Paul says, to the saints which are Corinthians, yes. to the faithful in Christ Jesus, that are ready. to the saints, yes. he wrote to the saints, and there were many church goers in his day, but he said, to the saints which are Ephesus. Yes. To the saints, which are that correct? Yes. To the saints, to the faithful, to the faithful, to the faithful, yes. to the faithful in Christ. Yes. Yes. To the faithful, not to the church goal, but to the faithful, which is in Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. How many faithful? People that we have this morning in Christ. Yes. How many of you can say I'm faithful to God? Mm -hmm. yes. 
Yes. How many of you can say, the, the Lord is my light and he's my salvation? The Lord is the strength of my life. How many of you, how many of you this morning yes. that have an altar in your home? Amen. Yes. How many of you take communion Hallelujah. with him sometimes during the week? Amen. Not just wait till the first Sunday, Amen. but you're so connected to him and he's so connected to you. And he's in you and you in him. And he's Lord over you. And the Holy Ghost says, turn off the TV. All right the Holy Ghost says, you don't need to watch that. All right now. <coughs> the Holy Ghost said, pray. The Holy Ghost said, seek me. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I know your thoughts. Yes. He said, but I got a plan for your life. Amen. And I want to show you that God really do and does have a plan for your life. Amen. You think, of, they said that suicide now is, is rising all over the world. Yes. That China has the highest suicide rate. And then India and some of the other uh, foreign worlds. But right here in America, people are killing themselves because they have no identity. Yes. Because they have no faith in God. Yes. They are giving up on life. Yes, preach it. Because they do not know the word. Yes, That's preach right. it. My nephew, two of them killed themselves. One shot himself in the head with a shotgun. Blew his head off. And about two years ago, my other nephew, he hung himself in his office. Preacher, pastor, hung himself. Something was missing in his life. That's right. You know you can preach and still have something missing in your life. That's right. You know you can pray and say, you know you can come to church and not have it all. That's right. That's, that's right. right. that's right. That's right. Oh God. That's some right. of the some of the greatest pretender is on Sunday morning. That's right. Hallelujah. Jesus said, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. Yes. yes. And he said, I ordain you. Yeah. He says, I call you out from the world. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. And how many of you feel that call out presence of God? Yes. That you know that you're like a, in this world, you're like a round whatever in a square hole. You don't, you don't fit. That's yes. right. Yes. If your Christianity fit with the world, you don't have Christianity. Amen. If you can have have uh, association with with people that that you know that are not saved, you're not even trying to, to live for God, and you can enjoy that type of relationship and that type of fellowship, something is wrong with you. Yes. Because Jesus said that the world hates you like they hate right, people. That's right. He said, love not the world, neither the things in the world. Be a man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We are called out people. We are saints. We are, we are, we are people of the most high God. We have Jesus. Now, he on the, he's not on the cross. That's right. He's in our hearts. That's right. Amen. Amen. We have, we're the only, we're the only, we're the only religious uh, uh, set that have God in India. That's right. Yes. People pray to Buddha. They pray to Hare Krishna. They pray to all these different. But, but Jesus is a our Christian. Is the only our Christianity is the only only religion. Yeah. It has a living God yes. living on the inside of you. Amen. 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 The only. No other religion can claim this. Jesus was the only one that died and rose again. He said, didn't nobody take my life. He said, I laid it down on my own. Well, this is the gift that I received of my Father. That he gave me power to lay it down and power to take it up again. And you and I need that same power to lay down our life for Jesus. To make him Lord. To make 
him Lord. To say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. 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 That you are a Christian. Help Come us on and preach now. Not pretending that you know, you know. I, I saw what you guys did this morning, and that was beautiful. But that would not get you in heaven. Hallelujah. Right. You can serve on the nursing board. That's you can right. serve on the deacon board. You can play the piano. You can sing. Praise you. Oh, I'm not kidding. I'm just saying. The truth is the truth. Those are good works. Yes. And ain't nothing wrong with that. That's right. But they won't save you. That's right. It will not get you in. You can have all the money. You can be the best high pair in this church and still be lost. That's right. yes. That's true. Only what you do for God, only what you do for the Lord, only serving Him yes. and being faithful to Him and making Him Lord. I say He's Lord. He's Lord. He's my Lord. He's my leader. He's my Governor, He's my God. He's the one that I answer to. He's my father. He's not my. He, he's my father. He's just not a God. When you say God, you can be talking about anybody. That's right. I'm a father. Yes. We're charging you heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Say it. Thy kingdom come. Say it. Thy will be done. Give us this day. Come on. Our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts. As we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from thou the kingdom and thou the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What are my favorite prayers? What are my favorite prayers? That's my favorite prayer. Why? Because. Jesus told me, my father, my Lord Jesus said, you should pray like this. Yes. Matthew 6 and 9. That's right. This is the way you pray. Yes. The disciples said, teach us how to pray. Yes. Right. Yes. And he said, you should not pray like the hypocrites do That's right. in the city yeah. or every corner yeah. just to, for their voices to be heard. Yeah. Come on. He said, when you pray, you go into your clothing and you shut the door and you said, my our Father, we're trying yes. yes. And everything we need is in that prayer. You don't have to ask him for a house. You don't have to ask God for cars. You don't have to ask him for a house. And a everything you need is yes. in that prayer. Hallelujah. Jesus didn't leave anything out. Glory to God. Come on, preach. Preach it now. <laughs> Time to preach. Preach, preach. <laughs> in Jeremiah 5, 1 and 5, he said, Before I pour them in the belly. Yes. I like that. Yes. Everybody go. Before I pour them in the belly. Yes. Uh, he said, I knew you. Yes. Glory. Do we get that? That's it. That's it. Okay. Come on, let's read it. Before I form thee in the belly, I do thee. And before thy comest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee and ordain thee to, to be a prophet to the nation. That was Jeremiah's calling. But listen, when I said that you did not, I did not come from my daddy. I came through my daddy. Yeah. I didn't come from my mama. I came through my mama. Because the Lord said, before I formed thee, yeah. before I formed thee yeah. in the belly, yeah. and before you came out of the womb. Yeah. Yes. yes. And what scripture says, before the foundation of the world. That's right. Yes. We belong to him. That's right. Yes. We give honor to our father and mother, because of what the Bible says. But we come from God. That's right. Yes. We come from God. That's right. Haven't you, if you can remember in your childhood, had the 
hardest time people picked on you, mm -hmm. nothing went right. Mm -hmm. Because even from your childhood, God had his hands on your life. Amen. And you was different. The people knew you was different. You knew you was different. You didn't know why you was different, but you knew you was different. Because yes. you knew you didn't fit in. Yes. It's because God had called you from your mother's school. Amen. That might say amen. amen. Now, I want to go to Ephesians, and I'm not going to keep you long. Give me maybe 10 more minutes. Ephesians 1. I want to get, we want to read that. Okay? This is very, very, very important. Are oh, you got it? Yeah. yeah. Let's read it together. Come on. Blessed, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly place, who has given us housing, land, and cause, and money, and bank accounts. It doesn't say that. <laughs> when these preachers talk about getting rich and, and paying, you don't have to pay God for a blessing. You don't have to send money to nobody for a blessing. No. Amen. The blessing comes with salvation. Amen. The blessing comes with being born again. Yes. Yes. Amen. He Amen. said, "Blessed be the Lord, be the God of our Father." Amen. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven and in Christ. If you're in Christ, you are already. Amen. If you're in Him, you are already. Amen. According as He has chosen us in Him before the Father. It goes back to Jeremiah. Yes. Evil goes past Jeremiah. Yes. One. Five. Yes. According as he, God, has chosen us, you, in him, in Christ, before the foundation of the world, that we, we, you, should be, ought to be, need to be, holy. Yes. And without blame before him yeah. in love. Yeah. He already criteria. Holy. That's right. Without blame. That's right. Before God. Yes. In love. In love. Amen. Say holy. Holy. A lifestyle. Yes. Not a denomination. Yes. It's a lifestyle. That's right. When Christ come in. A new life begins. A, it's a lifestyle. Right. Holy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. The Pentecostal had it good, but they took it too far the wrong way. The Pentecostals, they, when they, they had the word, but when the Holy Ghost fell on the day of Pentecost in the Acts the chapter, chapter of the room, and the Pentecostal Holy Ghost sanctified movement began to move across the, the world. They got too much spirit. <laughs> and some of it wasn't the spirit of God. Tell you why. They said if you don't speak in tongues, then you're not of God. They said if you don't dance in the Holy Ghost, then you're not of God. That has nothing to do with it. Amen. Has nothing to do with it. God uses people in different ways. Different ways. Yes, yes, yes. You will never get it like I got it. Yes. And I'll never get it like you got it. Amen. What God took God to bring me in might not take the same thing to bring you in. Hallelujah. It took a tree falling on me to bring me in. It took light distracting me to bring me in. But <laughs> it, it, it shouldn't take that for you. <laughs> You don't want God to strike you. You don't want something to happen to you. You ought to be willing and obedient. Amen. Amen. According as he has chosen you, us, before him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. Listen, people got this thing against the word holy or holiness. And it, it, it somehow offends them. It don't tell you it does, but somehow that word offends people. They say, don't take all of that. My mama didn't have it, but she made it in. Yeah. 
one of the greatest attributes of God that he's holy. Amen. Yeah. He's holy. God is holy, holy right? Amen. God, he's holy. Amen. He's so holy uh, that a, a man can't see his face and live. Yeah. He's so holy. Moses was his best friend, and yet he would not let Moses get too close to him. Yeah. He's holy. God is yes. holy. Yes. And holiness without shall no man see the Lord. Amen. That's not a theological, that, that's not a denomination, that's the word that's of God. Right. Amen. Amen. It is not what you wear on your head. That's right. It is not how long your dress is. That's right. All right. But if you get the Holy Ghost, you're gonna bring them dresses down. And if you got the Holy Ghost, <laughs> see all that up there. That's yeah. all right, all right. All right. <laughs> the church is not a place for that. That's right. God's house is precious. These four walls. When we come in here and we start the service and the holy and the music begins to, to sound, this place changed from the natural to the supernatural. It changed. It's God's house now. It's God's place now. Amen. It's a place where the Holy Ghost is moving. It's a place where God is going to have His way. Amen. And you can't come in God's house any kind of way. Amen. You Amen. cannot Amen. disrespect God's house. Amen. You have to be very careful when you come through those doors. All right. You got to remember, this is God's house. Amen. You're not coming to a fashion show. No. You ain't coming to be seen. You're coming to get the word. You're not coming for folks to see you. Don't nobody want to see you. Amen. We come for the word. We come for the word and 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 the word only. Nobody want to see you. Oh, no way. No way. Hallelujah. It all almost, Satan. Glory to God. Having, having, this I love this. Having predestinated us unto the adoption in God's mind. In God's mind, He already chose us. In God's mind, in the mind of God, He already had a plan to do you good. Yes. He wants to do you good and make you happy. He wants to give you joy, unspeakable joy, for the glory. Yes. He wants to give you so much joy that, that you won't go to the clubs no more. That you won't you won't go down Orlando or a Friday night or a Saturday night. Have you ever been down Orlando? 3,000 young people down there. Yeah. Yeah. Any, given, any, given, any given Friday night. Yes, yes. Oh any, any given Saturday night. Yes. A Sunday night. Yes. The streets are loaded with young people. Yes. Most of them have naked. Yes. <laughs> Pastor Farco, let me say this one thing. I don't understand, for the lack of me, these tattoos. Where do these tattoos come from? The devil. All oh, these people got tattoos. And they got them all over their face, all over their head. What will these tattoos? That's another mess. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I know I'm not going to be in this picture. But just let me. Uh, ready? According to he has chosen us, he can be for the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame and for him in love having predestinated us to the journey by Jesus Christ unto himself that according as uh, uh, according to his good pleasure good pleasure of his will it was good for God to save us Amen. it was good for God to chose us yes. 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 he took pleasure he took delight yes. in saving us Amen. Amen. and I want to say that when you were born your birth was not a mistake. That's right. Amen. Your birth was not an accident. Amen. Your birth wasn't be, I mean, you, your, it wasn't because, uh, you know, 
That was it. But it wasn't an accident. Yeah. Yes. 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 In regards to how you got here, God brought you here. That's right. Yes. That's right. And God's got a purpose for you being here. That's right. Yes. 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 And you won't leave here until your purpose has been fulfilled. Yes. That's why we got to seek God and, and seek the Lord and seek His will and seek His word and seek His way to find out, Lord, what is it that you have called me to do? Yes. Yes. Amen. Isn't that what Paul said on Damascus Road? He said, Lord, who art thy Lord? He said, I'm Jesus, whom thou crucified is hard to kick against the priest. And he said, Lord, Lord, what will you have me to do? That's what he said. Yes, yes. That should be every one of our questions. Yes. When we meet Jesus, Lord, what will you have me to do? Amen. 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 The Lord is coming. I'm, I'm, I'm going to quit. The Lord is soon to come. Will you be ready when Jesus comes? Will, will, if he came today to your house and say, give me a drink of cold water, will you have to move something out of the way? Will you have to hide something? All right. <laughs> Paul says, I'm crucified unto the world, and the world is crucified unto me. This is what living for Jesus is. When you, when you, when you begin to live for Jesus, you stop living for yourself. That's, right. That's what born again means. That's right. To be born again. Amen. If any man be in Christ, say it with me, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold all things are become new. I'm not the same person I used to be. I'm not the same man I used to be. 